We often experience pain and swelling when we have an injury, right? But have you wondered what is going on inside your body? Let's find out. Blood moves through our bodies using arteries, veins, and capillaries, also known as blood vessels. When we have a bleed, blood vessels are damaged and our body tries to fix itself. Sticky pieces of cells, called platelets, gather to patch the injury. But that is not enough. So a multi-step process called the clotting cascade begins. The clotting cascade has three different pathways, the extrinsic, the intrinsic, and common pathways. This all may sound very scientific, but understanding a bit about them can help you know what happens when you have a bleed. An injury, some type of bleed, causes the tissue factor, factor three, located on the outside of the blood vessel, to bond with factor seven, which is one of the factors circulating in our blood. This bond activates factor 10, which means that factor 10 changes into a form that allows it to work to stop a bleed as part of the clotting cascade. The activation of factor 10 starts a common pathway. When there is an injury, factors found inside the blood vessel are activated. Factor 11 activates Factor 9. Von Willebrand factor stabilizes Factor 8 as it moves toward Factor 9. Factors 8 and 9 bond together, and this bond activates Factor 10. This is the start of the common pathway, and clotting continues with Factor 10 combining with Factor 5. This allows for the change of prothrombin factor 2 to thrombin factor 2A. Thrombin then changes fibrinogen factor 1 to fibrin factor 1A. Fibrin combines with factor 13, which makes the platelet plug stronger so that the blood clot is secure. A lot goes on behind the scenes of the clotting cascade. If you have a bleeding disorder, that means that something is off with one of the many factors that help the blood clot. This makes it take longer for the blood to clot. Like many other processes in the body, the goal is to create balance in the body so that injuries can heal.